Familial hypercholesterolemia, it's a genetic disorder that affects the body's ability to process cholesterol, resulting in high levels of cholesterol in the blood. It's inherited in an autosomal dominant pattern, meaning that if one parent carries the gene, there's a 50% chance that each of their children will inherit it. So the causes of familial hypercholesterolemia, it's caused by mutations in the LDLR, APOB, or PCSK9 genes, which are responsible for regulating the amount of low-density lipoprotein or bad cholesterol in the blood. When these genes are mutated, the body can't properly clear LDL from the blood, leading to a buildup of cholesterol in the arteries. In terms of symptoms, familial hypercholesterolemia often doesn't cause any symptoms until later on in life, when the buildup of cholesterol in the arteries leads to heart disease. This can result in chest pain, shortness of breath, or heart attacks. In some cases, people with familial hypercholesterolemia may develop yellowish deposits of cholesterol around their eyes or on their skin, which are known as xanthomas. The diagnosis of familial hypercholesterolemia involves a combination of physical exams, blood tests, and genetic testing. A doctor may check for those xanthomas and ask about family history to determine if there's a likelihood of familial hypercholesterolemia. Blood tests may be used to measure cholesterol levels and genetic testing can confirm a diagnosis. Now, the treatment options for familial hypercholesterolemia, the primary treatment is lifestyle changes such as a healthy diet, exercise and avoiding tobacco use. However, these changes may not be enough to lower cholesterols in people with familial hypercholesterolemia. Medications such as statins or PCSK9 inhibitors may be prescribed to help lower cholesterol levels. In severe cases, a procedure called LDL aphresis may be used to remove LDL from the blood.